Today I'll go over three strategies I use to get away with minimal tearing despite giving birth to a bigger size baby. If you're pregnant and new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell below so you don't miss any of my future releases. If you're wondering, what does she mean by bigger size baby? I mean by that over nine pounds or four kilos, which meant that my baby was above the 90th percentile for weight and for also head circumference. And that is something that had been confirmed through an ultrasound um, because I had gestational diabetes and basically I had regular ultrasounds in my third trimester to track baby's weight. So knowing that, I knew that I should put extra efforts to prevent severe perineal tearing. The first thing I did was to use the Epino device to stretch my perineum as much as I could before birth. So I started using it a few weeks before my due date and it worked like a charm, honestly, to prepare both physically and mentally for my birth. So I'll link two of my videos about how I use the Epino in the description below if you want more details. The second thing I did was to learn how to release my pelvic floor muscles. I mean, this is something I had to learn years ago when I first became a pelvic floor physio, but it came in particularly handy for birth preparation. Your pelvic floor muscles are around your vagina, right? And you have full control to contract and release these muscles. So when you squeeze, it closes the vaginal opening and when you release, it opens it. For birth, you don't want to be squeezing these muscles, right? Because it will reduce the space for your baby to come through and it could lead to potentially more tearing. Instead, what you want is to be releasing these muscles and letting them go to make more space for your baby. And that in itself can reduce the risk of tearing. If you're like, what is she talking about? <laughs> and you're intrigued about how you can make a better use of these muscles during your birth, you can apply on a free discovery call with me in the description below. And we can see if we are fit to work together inside of my online signature program. I have worked with tons of pregnant mamas just like you who had no clue about how they could use their pelvic floor um, to their advantage during their birth to reduce the risk of injuries. And they had beautiful, positive birth experiences using my approach. You deserve this as well, and I would love to help. So if you want to chat with me, you can book your call in the description below. And the last thing I did was to use smart birth positions to prevent tearing. I mainly pushed in the standing position to have gravity in my favor, but during the crowning stage, I moved into a kneeling position to reduce the effect of gravity and allow my pelvic floor to progressively stretch. Research shows that positions such as squatting increase the risk of tearing. So I wanted to avoid squatting, especially for the crowning stage. It seemed like kneeling was honestly just like a good compromise between having full gravity versus no gravity, like lying down on my back. It worked quite well for me and it allowed me to catch my baby once he was out, which was honestly the most empowering moment ever. Using all of these strategies, I got away with a small second degree tear. In my doctor's words, she said it was between a first and a second degree tear. It only required a few stitches and everything healed super well. You know, like when I look in the mirror, I can't even tell there was a tear there actually. So if you're pregnant right now and you're scared of tearing, I totally hear you. I've been there and it's not a comfortable spot to be in. But I tell you, mama, there are things you can do to help yourself and prevent it from happening. I hope to chat with you over a discovery call soon to see how I can help you feel more confident about it all and have concrete tools to achieve your goals. Thanks for watching.